Amen. the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Ngayong umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. My dear friends, Jesus praises the humble contribution of the widow because it represents all she has. She gives not just her money but her whole heart to the Lord and this is most pleasing to Him. In the first reading, another widow shares from her dwindling resources to feed the prophet Elijah. Her generosity is amply rewarded. Her meager supply of flour and oil does not run out. Are we also generous with what we can offer to the Lord and to our brothers and sisters in need? My dear friends, we acknowledge that there are many times that we have failed to be generous, to show this generosity especially to those, to the least and to those who are most in need. And for that, we all say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. 
Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep us, keep from us all adversities, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Because the widow of Zarp Zarpah shared food with the prophet Elijah, she and her son survived the time of famine. This action of the pagan widow mirrors the generosity of the widow in today's gospel. A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, Elijah the prophet went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, Please, bring me a small cupful of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, Please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now, I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first, make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says, The jar of flour shall not go empty nor the jug of oil run dry until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year and he and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty nor the jug of oil run dry as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects the strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. By his death and resurrection, Jesus Christ, our High Priest, did not enter the sanctuary of the Temple of Jerusalem, but the heavenly sanctuary itself. He thus made it possible for us to come before God's presence. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Christ did not enter into a sanctuary 
made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf, not that he might offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have had to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now, once for all, he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice. Just as it is appointed that human being die once, and after this the judgment, so also Christ. Offered once to take away the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to take away sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await Him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said to the crowds, Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows as a pretext, recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contributed from the surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please visit it. I will never get tired of telling and retelling this story. Hindi po ako mapapagod na ikwento itong uh, karanasan that happened 15 years ago or almost 15 years ago in this very same church when I was first assigned here and it was a mass at maraming tao punong puno obviously wala pang pandemia and it happened right there in that particular place in that particular corner uh, time na ng uh, collection I was preparing the bread and then the wine uh, during the offertory at umiikot na yung mga kolektora para sa koleksyon. Hindi ko alam kung bakit biglang gumalaw yung aking ulo papunta dun sa site na yon. And uh, habang nag-aantay yung kolektora na ilagay yung ibibigay ng isang matandang ale, and my eyes was fixed. In fact, I stopped preparing the bread and wine because bigla na lang nakita ko yung ale, yung nanay, yung lola na dumakot dito 
Sabi ko, ano kaya kukunin ni Lola doon? And then yung kinuha niya, ay may panyo. And then meticulously binuksan niya yung panyo na yon And then kinuha niya yung well-folded uh, money, orange o pula. Magka orange o pula, magkano yon It's either 20 o 50. At walang kabog-abog, ililinagay lahat doon sa collection box o basket. That particular experience, incident, was never erased from my memory. In fact, every time that I would read the gospel and the first reading na binasa natin, almost automatically, sinasabi ko sa aking sarili, meron na akong sermon. And I would begin the homily with my own experience. That was something that is very instructive to me sapagkat the moment after the Mass, it reminds me kung saan nang gagaling yung aming pinamamalengke, kung saan nang gagaling yung, yung, uh, yung tulong o resources na nakapagpapatuloy ng aming mga gawain dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Kung saan ang gagaling yung mga pinagpapagawa, yung mga ibinibili na mga gamit namin dito. At nanggaling yan sa generosity ninyo. Something that hopefully, and I continue to pray, that I would not forget. Sapagkat it also instructs me and tells me and reminds me how to take care of your donations, of your contributions to the coffers of the church. Hindi ko talaga makakalimutan at hindi ko nakakalimutan yung, yung event po na yun. In the gospel that we read today, we also heard the same exemplars. Yung unang pagbasa, yung widow na bigla na lang inutusan ni Elijah na magluto ka at nung tiningnan niya yung nakalagay sa kanyang imbakan ng kanyang trigo, sapat na lang para sa kanya o hindi man sa kanya, para sa kanyang anak. And yet, she obeyed the last. She had the courage to cook it and then to share it with Elijah. In the second, in, in the gospel, we again encountered a widow who gave everything not from the surplus, but from her want. Sabi nga ng Ibanghelyo, her entire livelihood. Gusto nyo makakita ng ehemplo ng generosity? Yun yun. Ako, nakakita ako ng very concrete example of generosity na I could not forget anymore. It is something na nakatatak na sa utak ko every time that I would hear this gospel and I would talk about generosity. My dear friends, maraming mga challenges tayong hinarap at patuloy na hinaharap sa panahon ng pandemya. And how to be generous is a discussion point and a difficult challenge to all of us. Aminin, pinag-isipan kung sino uunahin, kung ano uunahin, kung magkano yung tutulong, kung sino tutulungan. And I'm not making you guilty about it. Because human as we are, umapasok talaga sa ikaisipan natin yun. Family or other people? Of course, almost automatically family. But we are asked to be more. At kaya nga itong pandemya na ito, yung totoong challenge ng kung paano maging generous. Ano? No? Ano bang ibibigay ko? Hanggang saan ba? Hanggang kailan ba? No? Masakit na sa bulsa eh. No? Lord, ang galin mo na nga ito eh. No? 
tumatama na doon sa doon sa pinaka resources namin and yet this is also what it means to give until it hurts di ba etong pandemya na ito ay sinubukan talaga tayo ng ating generosity kung ano yung kakayahan nating magbigay until it hurts sapagat ito yung pagkakataon na yung proverbial isusubo mo na lang ay eh hinihingi pa sa na itulong mo ito yung proverbial na do we have the, the courage to give the last and do we have the faith ito yung maganda do you have the faith in God that because of our generosity He will not leave us in need. Ayon yung challenge na pinagdaanan at patuloy nating pinagdadaanan. Kaya nga po, nung binabasa ko yung ibanghelyong ito, hindi maiiwasan na as I read it, ay mayroong mga tanong na bumabalik sa akin. Like for example, yung unang tanong, ano ko ba tinitingnan itong mga bagay-bagay na meron ako? Ito ba ay simply out of my own hard work? From morning till afternoon, nagtuturo ako, nag-work ako, nagbibigay ng training, and then kapag ka dumating yung stipend, yung sweldo, ito ba ay simply out of my hard work? Or ito ay parte ng generosity ng ating Panginoon. It makes us think, di ba? The gospel and then the first reading makes us think about the ultimate source of what we have. What we enjoy, the family that we have, the work that gives us the ability to earn our health. San ba to? Dahil sa pag-iingat ko sa mga pagkain, or ultimately because it comes from God. Makes us think, ano? Pangalawang tanong, nung nabasa ko yung mga readings ngayon ay, How do I take care of the things or of the people that, was in, that were entrusted to me? The things entrusted to me. Sapagkat our thinking, or at least my thinking is that we are just stewards. Katiwala, tagapag-alaga, na mga bagay-bagay na ipinagkatiwala sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Ang kalikasan, ang pamilya, ang trabaho, ang kalusugan, ang lahat. We're just stewards. And how am I taking care of what was entrusted to me? Ang ganda po, no? Sapagkat I can never Uh, we can never really question the generosity of people when it comes here to the minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Nakakatuwa po sapagkat yung mga diboto uh, ay kapag ka nagbibigay, ganito po yung kanilang ano, script. Pasensya na ho, Father. Pasensya na po, Apo Bakit. Pasensya na po, Our Lady of Manawag. Sapagkat ito lang muna yung kaya naming maibahagi. Sapagat, yung tao remains to be generous. No question about it. But because of the pandemic, yung mga taong nagbibigay, halimbawa ng 100, ay makapagbibigay muna ng 50. Apologetic pa yan. Meron pa yung note. May asterisk pa yan. May note pa. Pagka nakaluwag-luwag ko uli. So it's not a question of generosity. People remains to be generous. It's just that sa mga panahon na ito, e talagang challenge. At nagpapasalamat po kami kaya apo bakit at sa mahal na Panginoong Yesus because the generosity of people remains to be intact. Kaya lang, kaya nga yung ano tao na sabi no, ito muna, muna Father ha, ito muna apo bakit ha, ito muna Panginoon. Pag nakaluwag-luwag, Yeah, uli. So, the heart remains to be in the right place. Generosity is still at the core of our identity as Christians. 
So how do we, how do we take care of what was entrusted to us? Ay, magandang tanong, no? Sapagat we are all recipient of God's generosity. Yung pangatlo, ito yung medyo mabigat-bigat na tanong, do I have the courage to give my last? Katulad nung sa ibang sa ebanghelyo at doon sa unang pagbasa, susubo ko na lang and yet here. But that was how miracles happened to the widow in the first reading. Because eventually, when, when she followed the command of Elijah, yung kanyang sisidlan ng trigo was never empty anymore. Hindi siya nagkulang. And that is our God who can never be outdone in generosity. Ganda, no? Because we have a faith that our God will not leave us wanting. My dear friends, yung binasa nating ibanghelyo at yung binasa nating unang pagbasa tells us and show to us about examples of generosity. Ah, alam ko na may pin ang pinunta nyo rito ay healing. Pero ang kakambal ng healing ay pagbabahagi. Hari nawa, pagkahiling at natanggap almost automatically come to your senses. How do I extend help to the least to the last and to the lost. We can never outdo God in generosity. And we have the Blessed Mother to ensure us, to us, that God's generosity will be for all of us. Ang tanong, galis niyo, how's your generosity to the least and to the last, and to the last. Kindly all stand. All together, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten at me, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Prayer of the faithful, let us pray to God, our Father, that we may become as generous as the widow in the gospel. And in confidence we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May bishops, priests, and deacons rekindle the divine gift they receive at their ordination by serving God's people with generous hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our civil and political leaders be selfless in their service for integral development of the whole society, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who care for the sick, especially our frontliners who are fighting COVID-19, offer their sacrifices to God and find strength in His providence, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May philanthropists and charitable institutions continue to share their blessings and receive the, their reward from God 
who is never outdone in generosity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the dead be forgiven for, of their sins and be welcomed in God's eternal bosom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our, of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a very special way for all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, for their health, for their well-being, and for their safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we again near or move towards this coming political exercise, we continue to pray for all the aspirants that they may have the well-being, the good of the people of God. May their generosity be genuine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, may this our prayers help us to open our hands to give our gifts from our hearts and to share it to those in need. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundation of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonders to rule in your name over all you have and forever praise you in mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with the, all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May fully therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our auxiliary bishop, Gerard, the master of the order of preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Submerse in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin as, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the Apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our healer, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, a blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for the credo of stewardship. The, the credo of stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything who possesses everyone. I believe in the, the God of mercies who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church in spite of who I am and what I have done. And in spite of the infidelities he knows, I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward of earth in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for others. I will give on, keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and in holiness. I am steward of the Lord. I will return all this to him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for his kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. This is the end. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those you have any your heavenly power has entrusted. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa pakikisa po ninyo sa banal na misa. I know that uh, there is now the relaxation of the protocols, but just the same. Keep safe, everyone. Pangalawa po, Patuloy po kami nagpapasalamat at kumikilala ng inyong generosity and because of that generosity ay napagpapatuloy po namin ang mga apostolate, ang mga trabaho po namin dito sa Minor Basilica in the name of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Nasa kalagidnaan na po ng pagkukonserve ng kanyang trono, ng kanyang retablo, aanyayaan ko po kayo lahat through a webinar we will make this available to everybody para yung mga deboto ay makita po kung paano po yung progreso at kung paano po ang uh, pagkukonserve po ng retablo ni Apo Baker. So we will inform you po of that sapagkat sa inyo naman po nanggaling yung, uh, yung mga resources that allowed us to conserve ito pong retablo. At uh, going into the canonical coronation po uh, na pinagahandaan po natin marami-rami na rin po yung mga nasimulan nating trabaho uh, yung na-launch na natin yung uh, uh, Misa Inang Birhen ng Manawag yung kinakanta natin sa Misa karamihan po doon ay awitin na nakinompose para po sa Misa dito sa Minor Basilica nagsimula na rin po yung cultural mapping at ang isa po na uh, nasimulan na rin po namin yung yung proyekto na madala ang imahe ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag sa lahat ng probinsya dito sa Pilipinas at kung pupede sa labas po ng Pilipinas uh, as part ng celebration po ng kanyang sintinyal ng canonical coronation. At ang isa po sa uh, talagang pinapangarap sapagkat nga po ang Minor Basilica ay recipient ng generosity ng tao and kami po ay instrumento lang para itong, itong generosity na ito ay maipaabot din sa iba na mas nangangailangan uh, patuloy po namin na pinag-uusapan yung may patayo yung Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag Center for the Poor 
So yun po, uh, pakiabangan na lang po yung mga proyekto po na yun that is only possible because of the grace of God and because of your generosity. Muli po, maraming maraming po salamat sa inyong lahat. The Lord be with you and with yours. Spirit. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen. May He let His face shine upon you and show you His mercy. Amen. May He turn His countenance towards you and give you His peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now say the prayer po for the blessing ng mga may sakit. Andi dito, yung mga may sakit sa bahay, sa ospital. And we, after that, we will say for the blessing ng inyong religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness so what our sick brothers and sisters, freedom from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Para naman sa inyong religious articles, basbasan po natin sila. In memory of the mysteries of the blessed of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.